MSI Vigor GK80 Red Opinion Overall, the MSI Vigor GK80 Red made a good impression. This is mainly due to the processing and the massive palm rest. This not only looks great and fulfills its purpose, but can also accommodate the additional keycaps. Clever. But you also have to be clever with the GK80, at least if you want to deal with the lighting adjustment on the keyboard itself. You have more options here than in the Mystic Light software, but it takes some training to be able to implement the principle quickly. Otherwise, the keyboard's customization options are somewhat limited, at least compared to the competition. The software only allows macros to be recorded. Links or reassignments cannot be made. A bit of a shame. On the other hand, it can also be said that you are not necessarily dependent on the software. The hotkeys for the gaming app should be considered without trading. The software was not installed on the test system because the Dragon Cinder replaced it. However, the buttons did not work with this. Software does not seem to be the strength of the manufacturer. The keyboard showed its strong side in gaming use. The shelf provides a comfortable height to the keys. The different caps can serve their purpose and let you enjoy the keyboard for longer, as you can relieve the pressure on the labeled ones. The USB pass-through is a good thing, but only the standard 2.0 is used here. This is usually enough for mice or headsets. The GK80 is also suitable for paperwork. For a real everyday keyboard, one or the other could be disturbed by the lack or the small size of the media keys. You can already say that the MSI Vigor GK80 Red is a good keyboard in itself. However, the software leaves a threadbare taste. With a price 150 euros, it also does not make it very easy. A Kingston Hyperx Alloy Elite RGB with similar equipment costs 116 euros, for example. Plus, good workmanship, massive choice of materials, palm rest with stable stand. Cherry MX switch Configurable RGB lighting USB pass-through with its own line Minus Software without much added value Pass-through only USB 2.0